Namaste everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know this is a season for Thailand. There are a lot of things to do in Bangkok, but you definitely should not miss a visit to a royal Thai palace and Wat Phra Kiu, Emerald Buddha Temple. If you have visited European castles or palaces before, this one is for sure different. You can see a lot of different colorful Thai architecture, eye-catching paintings on the wall. The entrance fee to the Grand Palace in Bangkok is 500 baht for one person, one foreigner. That is nothing but 1050 rupees in Indian currency. And the fee includes access to the Grand Palace, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, the Green Circuit Museum of Textiles, the Arts Museum, the Arts of the Kingdom Museum, and the Classical Master Dance Cone. The Grand Palace is open daily from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the entrance gate or online. So get a cash or else you can use your card as well. They will take both of them and they will have a thorough checkup of your bag and everything. And Grand Palace is of reverence for the Thai people. So visitors are expected to dress appropriately. Inappropriate clothing means shorts or sleeveless things, uh, all, all those mini skirts things should be avoided. construction was started around 1782 at the order of King Rama I, the founder of the Chakri dynasty. The king will not stay in this palace as of now. However, the grand palace is still used for official events. Several royal ceremonies and state functions are held within the walls of the palace every year. The palace is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Thailand, with over 8 million people visiting every year. The colourful paintings and even that Pakshi, Mahana, everything is so shiny, colourful and gold plated with the different colours that will keep you mesmerised. Uh, we were not sure where to stop taking the pictures in this entire palace. You at least need half a day for this palace. Some times it will be heavily crowded but if you visit in the early morning the weather will be very pleasant and uh, next to this there is a boating system you can visit one more temple is it that I will cover at the end. The bell tower is located to the south of the complex. Inside there are steps leading up to the bell. The entire structure is covered in colored porcelain in floral and geometrical designs. Combination, what all bright colors they choose. Very beautiful. The palace is situated on the banks of Chao Phraya River at the heart of the Bangkok. Rather than being a single structure, the Grand Palace is made up of numerous buildings, halls, pavilions set round open lawns, gardens and courtyards. Its asymmetric styles are due to its organic development with additions and rebuilding being made by successive reigning kings over 200 years of history. It is divided into several quarters, the Temple of the Emerald Buddha, the outer court with many public buildings, guardians, statues of 12 yaksha guard six of the temple's gates along three sides of the wall. The giants are characters from the Ramakian epic, each distinguished by their skin color and crowns. People spend a lot of time inside the Emerald Buddha Temple. The sacred image is of the meditating Gautam Buddha seated in a lotus position made of a semi-precious green stone usually described as a jade, clothed in gold and about 66 cm tall.
we couldn't visit the other places which were there in our uh, list from this grand palace because we were running out of the time our flight was being scheduled uh, if we wouldn't have left we would have missed our flight so the night wave of the grand palace is also more beautiful if you get time you can just roam around that palace after 4:30 anyway they will close everything and uh, they will let the entire bangkok close to this palace with the lights so it will be very amazing experience along with this we have visited uh, another temple the reclining buddha temple the reclining buddha which you might have seen the famous one for the temple they call them as a wat so i'll put it in another video do check that video out so we had a thailand plan for around uh, 10 days we have covered south of the thailand phuket phi island krabi and the north of the part like uh, chiang mai chiang rai and then the middle part the bangkok So I'll show you all those details in coming videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe.